You're listening to the Platte River Bard. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Platte River Bard. This is Chris Berger. And I'm Sherry Berger. And we are here at the Hot Shops, the Yay! wonderful Hot Shops the downtown hot shops. here. And we are here with Holly Baker, Leslie Fisher. They are co-founders both of TAG, and that is T-A-G-G, Together a Greater Good. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us down yes. here at the Hot Shops. Welcome. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Thank you for having us, yes. I'm so excited that we get to talk finally. I know we've been chatting about this for a while. You've had so much going on at yeah. your, I mean, well, so much has been going on this the summer, but sure. you've had so much going on at, at TAG, and we wanted to make sure that we got a chance to talk to you because we know that there there are nonprofits out there that would love to hear more about what you're yeah, doing. There's been some changes and some stuff going on. So, so. changes. Yeah. We're Ross from Friends, as you see that with the pivot, <laughs> the couch. I feel like that is our life. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, constant pivot. Well, constant that's good though. Pivot. Yes. So, um, <laughs> One of the uh, one of the things actually that that immediately comes to mind that that Sherry and I did so much with Tag was that every time we went out to eat, yes, eating specifically, yes, and Ivy, we would uh, we would uh, use the Tag app mm-hmm. and do that, and that has gone through a bit of a change. Yes, tell me about that because I still want to use that. Do you want to take that, Holly? So the biggest change is we've tried to make it a lot easier for people to get started. So I like that. A lot of times people don't want to download an app or they okay. don't have the space on their phone or, okay. you know, the older generations, they don't even know how to, if they do want to, um, you know, not, and it's not just older generations. It's just depends oh, on know, yeah. your tech background and familiarity. But anyway, so now literally tag is as easy as visiting a website. It's oh, nice. tag dot today, again with two G's, any browser. So you can do it on your desktop, your laptop, your phone. Um, you can still, create a little button so it appears to be like an app so it's still easy to access okay but it's tag dot today um so it's just a lot easier for people to get involved and if you had the app before mm-hmm. all of your history comes with you it's not like you have to start from scratch you want to see you don't want to see that go to a okay. zero balance right okay you yeah had an impact in the past so so if you've used the app in the past everything from the app will transfer for, for over you got to this it. new website yep. yep and then the second part of that is your login is now your phone number so if you can remember your mobile phone number, okay. you can access your tag account. That's so your tag right. account. no more remembering a password or right. creating a duplicate account or any of that. All the things. <laughs> that <laughs> all, the things. all the things. All the things. So yeah, your phone number is your login. Um, and the name of the website one more time. Tag.today. Tag.today. And that replaces the old tag app. And if you had the old tag app and had your info in there, all that's going to come with you when you enter in your phone number. Yep. You've got it. Yep. So you'll, yep. Once you get them there, you can complete your account with your email and then it'll say, Oh, we think there's a account on file. Yeah. And you hit okay. And it'll start merging it over for you. Perfect. Yes. So to clarify that the app isn't being used anymore, it's going to be discontinued. It will be. It's, technically still on the app store we're just not really pushing people to it anymore. okay but but it will be discontinued here shortly yes Yes. okay yep very good and then it's all run through the website which is tag dot today (laughs) thank you very much (laughs) you got it (laughs) and then should we talk about the points and rewards and all that exciting yes please yeah okay so tag is still essentially all about supporting something that you care about Mm -hmm. but We've added also a little bit what's in it for me as well. So now as you're going out supporting the arts or supporting your school or other favorite nonprofit, you can earn points every time you use it and then redeem that for either more donations for your cause of choice. If that's, you know, the only reason that you're using it or you can get a tag t-shirt or something fun like that or business gift cards and other things like that. So just keeps it a little more top of mind when you're, you know, earning something. Right. So right. I love that. I can't imagine all of the work that it takes to put this together. <laughs> and I know yes. you both founded this. How did that even come about? It. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> whose idea was this? It, it was, <laughs> to be very honest, it was uh, definitely a joint d- effort. Joint effort. Yeah. Um, Holly and I worked together at giftcertificates.com back in the early 2000s, which okay. is oh. now 
two decades ago. But. Well, uh, no, I know. Yeah. It doesn't seem like yeah. it. Nope. Um, <laughs> and so we worked together for a short while there, and then we both kind of went our own separate ways, and we had kind of just always stayed in touch. I actually had her do some independent contracting for me when she was going through her first baby maternity leave, and then... Um, Fast forward, I had a surprise baby number three coming (laughs) and was on maternity leave and ended up kind of reconnecting with Holly. She came over to see Evan and reconnected. And I was just like, you know, I really don't like what I'm doing. My boss is a narcissist and just being honest. And, um, you know, I'm I'm on maternity leave and I'm still really working because I'm loyal and a hard worker and those kind of things. And I was like, you know, what's this really all for? And, um, Holly likes margaritas and I like margaritas. So we were like, let's go out and have some margaritas and kind of figure out, is there something, you know, we could do together. And I was literally sitting at home all day. So I had came to her with a list of things like here's all the things you know we could well, do. I think yeah. it's kind of cool yeah. to say that you caught Oprah's last episode yes. on during maternity leave. Oh. It was all about like, are you passionate about what you're yes. doing? And so oh. it's just like a, oh. Oprah. there's a reason yeah. that she was on maternity leave yeah. and catching Oprah that she yeah. wouldn't have done. And yeah. she was at I'd work. I'd never you know? seen Oprah. I never had watched it, but it really? was her, never. it was her last episode. And you watched the last and I, episode. And I was like, well, I have to watch it. Right. I mean, people are getting yeah. cars. So what are they going to do on the last uh, episode? Yeah, for sure. And, uh, it was just like, but you know, you life should. short, are you doing your dream? And I mean, she's, she's a very cool story of somebody who came from nothing. And oh, I mean, sure. is a, billionaire oh. so I was like yeah. yeah what am I doing you know and anyway it was just it was crazy you, you crazy responded time. to her call yeah. and call to action essentially on her last episode yeah, yeah. I should yeah. call Oprah and maybe see if she wants to invest in there tag. you go there you go. It's, her, hey. it's her fault <laughs> hey she can only say no <laughs> and she may not <laughs> say no yeah her people <laughs> may tell me no uh, it's, hey you, you don't know until you ask I like that yeah Oh, wow. I think that's that. That's a really great story, and then mm-hmm, and, it is. And, and you guys got together and decided what what can we do? It, yeah, it was opposite. Well, Leslie's always kind of wanted to start a business. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't ever really on my radar, but it was the opposite. Usually, you have the idea, the business idea that takes you into entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. We were the opposite. Like, ooh, that sounds fun. What should we do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and so. It was yeah. kind of like, oh, let's regroup in a few weeks and let's yeah. brainstorm about it. So, Yeah. <laughs> and it really became a blend of our own. I mean, I had three kids at the time. Holly had one. And uh, it was spring. And that's when all the people start knocking at your door. Sure. For donations. Right. You know, kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And ironically, both of our husbands never answered the door. <laughs> when the kids came, but then mm. we're like, well, why don't you just tell them no? You know, cause we always would buy the thing. And right, I was like, right, Oh, right. it's a little kid and they're cute faced and right. you feel terrible. Right. Like right. And they're out there schlepping so get the and, candy bars. Yeah, and I was like, whatever, I was yeah. like, you go to the door then and you break their heart. And so, mm. yeah. um, it was just kind of odd because it was like everything had changed since we were young and nothing had changed since we were young. You know, it was sure. very like, sure. why are people still having to go around selling stuff? People don't want, to raise money. It was yeah. just, yeah. you know, I don't like gift wrap. I no thank you on magazines. I mean, right. it's just, you know, all yeah. the, all the things hadn't changed. And so we were like, you know, how could we really kind of make this easier and not make people buy just cause they felt guilty. Right. Right. So mm-hmm. sure. Yes. Yep. I know those. Well, and, and that way, uh, and, and I would think in that way, it sort of cuts out the unnecessary part of, of, of having to, you know, quote unquote, sell something, mm-hmm. you don't have to, and, and, and the more of the money would go directly towards right whatever it is they right. want yeah. to go towards. Right. Yeah. And there was a lot of times to, yeah. I would say, can I just give you $10 and can that go? And it was like, yeah. no, it was like, no. Yeah. No, no you, you can't, can't just donate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And I was like, I would you have so to much rather something. than. Yeah. Right. Just I, I understand money. that. And yeah. I think a lot of people are like that too. Yeah. yeah. I don't want anything. Can I just give yeah. you, can I just help? Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. For sure. So what did you do after the list? So you talked to her, you talked to Holly about the list. What happened then? So then we thought, okay, we we got to change the way fundraising is done. Like that was kind of our idea. Okay. And then both having marketing backgrounds, we always knew that businesses are always looking for affordable ways to get their name out there. And so then 
Groupon had also just launched, you know, where you oh, kind of have that Groupon. deal right. of the day and you'd buy the voucher, you know? Yeah. And so we kind of combined the fundraising with the business need for advertising with the voucher process. And so we initially launched as a website where you would go buy a voucher to a local business, you know, put in your credit card, and then they would decide how much of that voucher purchase would be donated to your team or your nonprofit of choice. So okay. st- it started at the same concept. We've just come mm-hmm. a long ways in terms of right. being more out and about and not having to purchase a voucher ahead of time. And mm-hmm. so we've okay. since pivoted to a yeah. mobile app to make it more, you know, mobile, I guess. Yeah. Everybody's like, I love what you're doing, but I don't think ahead. And yeah. so then mm-hmm. we, you know, got an investor so we could mm-hmm. build the app and then um, now <laughs> build the website. Wow. <laughs> so it's just yeah. kind of evolved over time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Same overall concept from same what it concept. started at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you had, to, you had to line up the businesses and the organizations. Yeah. So you had to go to all these individual people. And, and make all those How long did that take? And, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, we've been doing this 10 years. Oh, I mean, wow. it's. Ongoing. Um, yeah. It's, yeah. it's it's always ongoing. Yeah. I mean, it's just an ever over moving process because, you know, we've been so fortunate that we retain a very high percentage of our businesses. I mean, we've had a lot of them on for almost ten years. That's They've been really with us. encouraging. That's yeah. nice to hear. Like flagship restaurant group has just been a supporter since very mm-hmm. early on, and they are just. I mean, they've exploded. They were pretty much just in Omaha at the time, and now they're almost, you know, nationwide with blue sushis everywhere. And oh yeah, yeah for yeah. anyone Good not for familiar, them. that's oh yeah, yeah, the blue sushi, the Roja, uh, the Blatt, and then the West Roads Food Court. The oh wow, and, and okay. Good like, for them. Like yeah. downtown, yeah. Well, and and thanks Very to so people. many of these businesses mm-hmm. that have stuck Very with you much. for the yes. whole time. That's right. really yeah. nice to see. Yeah. And and it says uh, a lot about your organization that you guys are doing something right because they are sticking with you. Thank you. We really, mm-hmm. yeah. we we try. really try. <laughs> For sure. We really do try. And yeah. yeah, so it's it's just been a crazy uh, evolution. Yeah, like she's, it was kind of funny listening to you. It's like, oh yeah, we started as a voucher and then we went to an app and now we're kind of back to a website. But um, yeah, it's like I said, constant pivots and mm-hmm. listening to what our customers want and mm-hmm. you know what our businesses want and kind of figuring out what can we also financially afford to do mm-hmm. and you know so many of our businesses have their own app now mm-hmm. runza has their own app jimmy johns has their right. own app so Every, yes. you know in some ways we almost kind of felt like we were competing with that a little bit of yeah. like yeah. it's real estate it's all real estate on your phone true and i know not yeah. every, not everybody's going to keep every app on their phone but no. um uh, and i think that will evolve Mm -hmm. but for us you know it was just like well the business isn't going to promote our app ahead of their own app no so now that we're a website it makes it easier and a lot of our businesses like pizza west and dante Mm -hmm. um they actually have put us on their receipts so they are really very nice pushing us which is nice which i don't know that they would have if you know if it was an app to an app is Mm -hmm. that fair or yeah it's just a lot easier to put it on your table you know or your menu when you know, you can just put a QR code on there that takes you to tag dot today yep. where people are used to QR codes with yeah. COVID menus and all that, where it used to be mm-hmm. step one, download an app. So it's just right. a lot mm-hmm. more actionable. And yeah, so they're, nice. yeah, they're willing to help us promote it, which has been great. Cool. So they can still take a picture of the receipt from their phone and use yep. the, the browser on their, the internet browser on their yep. phone and, yep. Yep. and yep. it's mobile friendly. And then just go to uh, tag dot today. <laughs> you got it now. And, Look at you. Uh, <laughs> and put in all the information and uh, you should be on the radio. I know. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I agree. Um, so initially you were kind of thinking more about schools and yeah. and that's probably kind of where you got your basis for a lot of it and then you could add the other ones like the restaurants right. and yeah yeah we so um ironically when holly and i worked at gift certificates it reminded me so much of nonprofits where we had a large 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 client that we knew was going to leave um and we just didn't know when and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. it reminds me so much of nonprofits. You know, they're spending so much time working these major donors yeah. that sometimes they're forgetting about, okay, well, you know, 
I mean, in 2020, we saw the stock market crash. I mean, I mm. remember a lot of nonprofits were freaking out because their major donors were like, uh, you might not be getting a check from me this year if the stock mm. market doesn't go back up. Um, okay. Yeah. You know, divorce, cancer, death. I mean, like terrible, all, all terrible things, but right. all, mm-hmm. you know, reality. And mm-hmm. we really wanted a way for nonprofits to have um, a way to get the younger people to start financially giving in a way, you know, they could walk in with start, you know, a millennial, for example, we had interns and I remember it, it was such a perfect analogy. We had a couple interns one summer and they literally came in every day with Starbucks, you know, which is five bucks minimum. A yeah, I would say, yeah. So, right. So they're spending $25 a week on Starbucks right? and, sure. and, but I would say, Oh, do you think you could, you know, donate $25 to a nonprofit every month? Well, I don't have that kind of money, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and it right. was like, okay, like, how can we blend it's, this? You know, right. how can we blend this giving back in what they're doing? Cause they're very, you know, I had no idea what was going on. If it was long distance or not in my local mm-hmm. news station, I had no idea what was going on in the world growing up, but they know everything and they're much more community minded. So they want to support things, yeah. mm-hmm. but it's, you know, we want to make it accessible for them to do that in a way that it's like, well, you can still get your venti, you know, mm-hmm. large whatever. And Even though Starbucks isn't participating. Please go to Duncan. Please visit your local Duncan. Duncan. Um, <laughs> but we also have Zen Coffee and Karma. Karma Coffee. Yeah. yeah. I mean, nice, yeah. Nice, Bakery. Nice. We don't just, you know, I mean, we really have a lot of amazing local. I was just using the Starbucks well, That's analogy. okay. And, well, and, and speaking of that, <laughs> as okay. we're talking about that, so what if I wanted to uh, find out uh, if the place I'm going to or specifically go to some places that I can use the tag yeah. uh, website with is there a where is there a place to find there's a few different ways like you can go to tag dot today and at the very bottom there's a link to our business directory okay. which you can put in categories of what you're looking for you can even put patio you know i want <laughs> oh, okay, i want sure. italian with a patio okay I mean, and if, you know yeah, cool. do- dog care auto care you can get a mortgage loan through tag or a realtor hmm, pretty yeah. much. We want you to be able to tag everything, but oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. it isn't just restaurants, places to eat, stuff no. like that. That's it can right. Be, so go ahead and check and okay. Dry yeah. cleaning and retail okay. and batteries. We have two battery stores on. I yeah. mean, just yeah. always check tag. iPhone repair. Yeah. Right. And yeah. it's not, and you don't pay anything extra. You just put in all your nope. information after you go to that place yep. to the website yeah, and just, the, yeah, upload a picture of your receipt, mm-hmm. choose the business, choose who you want to support, and the business donates a percentage. That's so neat because easy, you're already easy. spending the money, so right. mm-hmm. you know you're going right. to spend yeah. something, yeah. and now you get to help someone yeah. Yeah, 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 with yeah. it. That's and you can earn points. <laughs> and you can earn yeah. points, that's right. But I do, I do think once people start doing it, like all of the interns we've ever had, you know, when they start tagging, they're shocked to see how much, you know, just getting gas at hy V and, you know, getting coffee to bring in and like going to Jimmy John's every once in a while. Like they're not spending a ton of money. They're just right. making decisions based on who's on tag. And mm-hmm. you know, one girl before she left, she's like, I've already raised $50. She's like, I've never donated $50 to anything, oh, wow. you know, and it's empowering mm-hmm. because you feel like it matters. And the coolest part is like the nonprofits that get it on tag, they will send either a thank you email. Like Holly's gotten an actual card in the mail mm-hmm. saying thank you yeah. and that is totally the difference of generations uh-huh. my parents generation it was like we're anonymous don't you know don't say anything I don't need to be recognized but like millennials love recognition mm-hmm. you know they're way more public about it and so when they get recognized for donating a dollar two dollars ten dollars I mean it just it reinforces in their mind like you're noticing and it matters and mm-hmm. so they keep doing it which mm-hmm. is um really I just think it's so cool and you know, a lot of our businesses will say, you know, we're supporting causes we would have maybe never given a donation to because right. we just didn't know who they were. Right. You yeah. know, they, yeah. they know the big ones, but they don't know the small ones. Yeah. And that's the thing. Mm-hmm. People might want to use tag, but they don't know what's out there. And as soon as they hear about it, they go, oh, well, of course I'm going to use that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. So. Wow. And I, I love, um, I think hy still on it too. Yeah. And so I, that's right. Hybe is still I bet, on it. I bet that helped at least during the pandemic. I mean, it, yep, that it probably really went up quite a bit because people mm-hmm. weren't eating out. So maybe yes. it kind of evened itself out. Right. 
a little nice, bit there. Nice. Yeah, Hy-Vee was definitely Hy-Vee, a Hy-Vee and then blessing. a lot of takeout. A lot of takeout. <laughs> yeah. Of takeout yeah. yeah. Love Hy-Vee too. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, it's so neat. I, I just love the concept. So is this something that you have to spend all day doing? This is like your full-time job now because you have to verify all these receipts and yep. as well as just <laughs> running the Our, business part. We have volunteer tag tag Approver. approvers uh two of them are our mothers oh, oh right. bless their yeah. hearts oh, shout right. out to our moms shout out Yay, to moms, moms. Yeah. and then yeah. one of my mom's friends does yeah. it it's, yeah it's pretty excellent cool. that's yeah. cool but yeah it's definitely a full-time job and i think that does surprise people a lot but yeah there's just we have you know over a thousand organizations and we're you know always trying mm. to like support them and help them yeah. get them materials and you know help them communicate it and then we have businesses that you know not only we, not only are we helping them give back easier but we're also trying to drive them business so right. we're trying to use our platform to drive people their way and yeah. um what yeah. else do we do yeah. accounting yeah we're <laughs> I, it repair I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're all the things we're the hats yeah and that's yes. wow. yeah we're a lean team of three you know, three people yeah. so plus that's all right plus the moms we have plus a gal. the moms yeah, yeah. So you don't you don't even have a necessarily a, sh- a designated shingle. You guys are doing this from home. Well, That's I feel like recent. we I feel like we keep going back in circles. <laughs> like we're back to a website. We yeah. uh, th- we were in a kind of co op space, and they ended up selling the biz- the building. Okay. And so we mm-hmm. had to move. But it, with COVID, it really. I mean, we're either meeting with businesses or doing things like this, or be, being home heads down. And we kind of got used to working from home right and so for for us it just didn't make a ton of sense to spend the money Mm -hmm. um we had a really good deal where we were and we kind of co-shared with another team that had grown so um now we're back home and that's been since march yeah. yeah and i really think it's just been as effective as it was going into the office so what are the goals for the future then so you guys are kind of getting we're coming out of hopefully the pandemic hopefully we're doing that shaking um, up the we're last starting to see oh, things please. kind of ramp up and traffic's just as bad as it ever was <laughs> yes right so yeah. we drove down here and we were like oh i forget what <laughs> interstate yeah. traffic's like I know. yeah yes we didn't mention we were at the hot shops yes yeah. again oh yes we have we several times yeah, but let's say it that. again because we thank them for letting us use their space <laughs> we love the here. hot shops yes indeed yeah. <laughs> it's a cool but, beautiful space uh, yeah it really is so what is what what are your plans? I mean, you you had you put together your business plan. Did you um, did you expect to be where you are now when you put that together ten years later? Or we expected to be a lot further. <laughs> yeah, we expected to be a lot uh, further. Um, further. Well, COVID I mean, probably put a dent in some of that. Well, and I you know if you look at any a lot of businesses, it just you know they always say like you're looking at somebody's chapter 20 when you're on chapter 1 of starting a business sure and i mean it's we've pivoted a lot and i think that's you know learning from our businesses and our users of what works um but i mean we want to grow this to be a regional national however we can sustain it i think what has allowed our businesses to stay our partners is we really do care about them like we really do want them to be successful on tag we want them to be successful i mean watching a business close is the worst thing ever i mean Mm -hmm. watching our businesses that you know they put their blood sweat and tears you know close is awful and so we want to be a part of that success but we also want to do it in a way that our mental health doesn't (laughs) totally go by the wayside because it i mean it is a lot of moving parts so we're trying to um automate some things and streamline them things that'll allow us to continue to grow. We have a gal in Sioux city who is, um, a unicorn. That's the only thing I can even (laughs) say. She's just the most amazing energy and kindness and shares our values. And so we're hoping, you know, at some point she could come really help us grow. Nice. So yeah, Yeah, we want to be, we want you to be able to be anywhere in the United States, but still tag for something at home yeah. right? you know when you're traveling that would be an right. ultimate goal yeah, like we cool. you know that would yeah we've made it you know and yeah and what keeps us going is a tiny little success stories on the way like when you can see the impact you're making like yeah totally there's like one gal that emailed us about tag for tuition where yeah. we have a tag for tuition program where half the donation goes to the school and then part of it goes to 
towards someone's tuition and Credit. TAG makes that possible for her child to stay in the private school system. And it's Ooh, like, wow, nice. okay, yes. we're doing something right here. Yeah, you know? and then fantastic. On yeah. the business side, you, you know, we've been told that we help their doors stay open during COVID, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. thanks to promoting them. And so that kind of yeah. stuff has kept us going. And um, it's yeah. definitely been a journey. I mean, it's definitely been a journey. But, I, you know, I think, it like, especially with your podcast and your listeners, it's like nobody's doing this because they have to. They're doing it because they're passionate about it. Absolutely. You know, it's like they've found something that they get energy from when they're doing it. And that's how we feel. I mean, when we get those, like, notes or, you know, people that are saying, like, oh, my gosh, this is so cool. I raised $250. I would never do that. We had a our top tagger actually works at an um, automotive shop. Oh. And they do work with another automotive shop that's on tag. Okay. And so he, they've agreed that he can tag those receipts. Oh, wow. oh nice. And so he has donated over $3,000 to a cause. I was going to say, yeah. And huh. he, he can't give otherwise, but he is just like beaming with pride knowing that he's kind of figured mm-hmm. this out. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's figured, like, yeah. And it's, mm-hmm. and he just, it makes, and like his wife has started tagging and, you know, it's just little bits here and there, but it really does, you know, add up and we're getting close to almost donating a million dollars. Like we're, you know, getting in the last. And so, and it's, I mean, our average donation is around a dollar now with Hy-Vee. If you take Hy-Vee out, it's higher, but you know, yeah people tag their 99 cent coffee. It's crazy. Oh, so, sure. Well, people, whatever. Yeah, no, I, I mean, everything. people drink, people drink a lot of coffee in this town. So, <laughs> yeah, sure, um, sure, sure. which is great. I mean, no yeah, judgment yeah. As, as do I, I got Holly. Holly was but cold you, one day but, yeah. and I got her addicted to coffee in one day just cause she was cold. <laughs> one day. I was one like, day. Where at age 37. I'm like, where has this been my whole life? <laughs> Oh, wow. She's like, it's caffeinated and I'm warmer after drinking it. So now uh, she's addicted. That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, I, now, and you, so you said you guys are approaching the $1 million, million. Yep. donated mm-hmm. mark? Yeah. Yep. Do you think you'll hit it this year or next year? Or is it a few years away? What do you think? We're hoping next year. Yeah, I think it should be early next year. Yeah. Maybe Q1. So. That's our you goal. have to come back and talk okay. to yeah, us absolutely. when you hit your okay. that would $1 million awesome. dollar mark. Fun. That would be right. really oh, we would cool. Love that. Fun. Yeah. We would have, yeah. And we have to let everybody know that. And yeah. 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 Because like everything now, yeah. they'll see, oh, wow, that's such a, that's such a big deal. I yeah. should do that. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. And then it makes, I know. And yeah. hopefully that'll get more people. Good idea. Yeah. That'll I be a great that. idea. <laughs> yeah. And I know you can go to your website and you can you can actually search the businesses there um, yep. too. So if so, even before you tag or before you buy, if you don't have a receipt, you can still go on there and see who's participating. Yeah. yeah and you have 30 days to tag your receipt. So you don't have to do it at the oh, business. Nice. You know, you can yeah. just keep them in your wallet or your purse and at the end of the month. Yeah. yeah. Clean we them have, out and tag them all yeah. at once. We you have know? that so, a lot. You yeah. can tell when women are cleaning their purses. I, I, we do that. I think I'm guilty of that. <laughs> you should have like so. a, you, like a, uh, you remember that uh, where's, it, it was kind of like a where's Waldo, but it wasn't, mm. it was, it was a, it was like a little paper doll that teachers would give people who travel. Oh, Flat Stanley. Thank oh, you. No. Yes. Yeah. That one. The Jolly Rogers took more than a few pictures with Flat Stanley over and, the years. Yeah, and so they yeah. took a picture and sent it back to the class, and so then Flat Stanley would be, like, everywhere in the world. Yeah. I like cross love off. that. We should do that. <laughs> you should do that with your receipt, like, right here. Yes. Because I noticed uh, I get really long receipts, mm-hmm. and it's hard to get them. And I'm like, how? I don't know how they're going to read this, but okay, you know, and I think... Yeah. I think you did something this last time on the website when I tried it on the website I think I could take more than one you can take up to three for each that's receipt what now. it was yeah okay. so that's another thing for tag dot today that changed. yeah, yeah. no yeah. And, and honestly CBS receipts and then we, we never had that problem until we brought hy on and then all of our those are some long oh. receipts yeah. Some, yeah. Got yeah. The long receipts yeah. yeah and so then we were like okay we've got to figure out a solution for this mm-hmm. and the way our app was set up it just it was not technically working, so oh, okay. kind of, that was a big driver. Big incentive to uh-huh, switch to, to the switch website because the the people were frustrated and like I mean, yeah. you can only zoom so much. And, <laughs> well, and understandably so because Hy-Vee, I'm sure, yeah. is a very popular yeah uh, uh, 
way to yeah. donate oh, yeah. to you and, guys because everybody goes there. And they, have, and they have rules. And so, you know, if, if we didn't get the whole receipt, then we had to deny it. And we weren't uh, used to really denying tags. Yeah. And so, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a total learning curve all the way around. So Fair enough. But, you know, we're, we're very grateful to have them as a partner. And, oh, yeah. Um, you know, they have a lot of locations around Omaha. So, yeah. for, you know, for us, it's just a cool way to see people that maybe they couldn't have given any other way, but now they can go get gas. Mm-hmm. Right. Now they, you know, they're mm-hmm. getting groceries and those kind of things and giving mm-hmm. back, which is pretty cool. Right. That's awesome. So. And that might help you guys if you wanted to do the traveling thing. So... Hy-Vee's in Can- Hy-Vee is all over in Kansas City yeah. and lots yes. of other towns, so so that might help be able to do that. Yeah, we're hoping Hy-Vee will grow with us. We'll right. kind of see. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, that's neat to get some of those bigger companies mm-hmm. that yeah. are everywhere. What, right. a, what a fantastic idea. I've always yeah. really thought it's just... I've always been really curious about how it even worked. And you'd have to be really technical in order to be able to put this together, too. And I bet that's been, I mean. <laughs> well, we don't do the development ourselves. We wish we did or yeah. could. Oh, my. But, um, yeah, we have a developer um, partner that we outsource it to. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I remember we were um, hmm. trying to find an investor, and Holly and I are both marketing people, which – was interesting and he said one of you needs to be a salesperson and the other one needs to be technical <laughs> and we both looked at each other we're, we're like, like we don't know either though <laughs> okay we're both marketing yeah <laughs> i mean when and we not the sales side of marketing no. yeah. <laughs> and so when we started we were so broke i mean we were so broken it was summer and um we'd sit outside my backyard with shots of cherry vodka and diet coke <laughs> and make to get sa- the courage to make to, sales to calls. make sales calls and then we we would either stop if we got like five appointments or we're slurring our words so however whichever came first we we're like if we're gonna be broke we're gonna be tan and semi-drunk so. that's awesome, awesome. I How love fun. It. yeah hey man it got it done it, it got did. It. we're here i guess it worked yeah. hey but yeah we had we had so many people that i think they just thought we were the weirdest people calling because we were not sales people and they'd say I'm probably going to tell you no, but if you want to come in. <laughs> but then every time they would end up saying yes, because I think they were just like, they're really just bad at sales, but they do care. Yeah. <laughs> they they do. have a good heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And do they get to decide how much they want to, to donate then? Or is it a suggested range and they have to go somewhere? And- we, we kind of say 5%. We allow them to do caps and some things just because people okay. don't read or pay attention oh, right. and so we don't want people to get upset or think they're off hyvee does do one percent but we try to communicate that and i think as we grow that might be something that we're going to have to change but today in most cases it's five percent yeah but like mm-hmm. for example if if we got a car dealership on there they could do five percent up to a hundred dollars so it's like oh. they don't have to donate five percent of a car right. oh, okay you know? okay yeah. um, if they wanted to do that and like way. yeah if you go get a mortgage loan or you buy a new house they donate like two hundred dollars which is like a flat yeah. amount a so flat fee we really okay work with the business to see what makes sense what would motivate people to actually choose them right right and not give away too much where they're not comfortable right you don't want it you don't want a gotcha situation you right. just want it yeah yeah it's, right. it's everybody's okay with it for yeah. Sure. Yeah. And that's one of the things I think nonprofits don't really understand about tag. I think when everybody know, when everybody hears of us, they either associate us to high V or they associate us to like dining. Yeah. But you know, yeah. we have a lot of businesses on. We have a printer on Cutthroat Print, where you know if you're doing printing, which think how much some of these theaters are doing printing. Yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, he gives back five percent of mm-hmm. whatever the and printing is. And he has great prices. And he has great <laughs> prices. He loves to work with nonprofits. So it's one of those things. So we've created this kind of event planning guide to kind of get nonprofits seeing like, oh yeah, if we're doing catering, if we're having a board meeting, if we're, yeah. you know, doing printing services or rentals or those kind of things, like we have a lot of those kind of businesses that you know you might only use once or twice a year but Mm -hmm. they're a thousand dollar plus purchases and they really do add up um there and they've been they've been amazing i mean cutthroat print has just been a great a great great partner and so 
Mm-hmm. His, and his prices are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's it's not like oh we have them on there, but they're going to be the highest right. bid kind of a thing. No, but got but you get prices, but he's yeah. got really competitive prices. Mm-hmm. So, That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Well, and it's neat for theaters to think that they can tag too instead of it always being the telling person. their patrons yeah. to tag. Yeah. Right. That that's that's a yeah. really interesting thought to change that around. Well, and and that kind of leads to another question. If if you are a nonprofit, how how would you go about and you're not involved in this, how would you go about saying, "Hey, I want to I want to try this?" You simply go to togetherogreatergood.com which you can get to from tag.today, but that's our kind of more of our registration website, those sort of things. Um, And register. It's super easy. You just need to complete a form and we do electronic deposits. So we get your bank information and we get you, we get you set up electronically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We really try to, I know that sometimes Mm -hmm. is a a point of contention, but we have a really strict process with our bank. Um, Mm -hmm. It's just checks are such a pain in the butt, and, yeah. and the, yeah. the price of stopping checks is like forty dollars now. It's something just crazy. Right. So uh, we want to make sure you always get it yeah. electronically. So mm-hmm. yeah. you know, we've been in business for ten years. We've never had an issue. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You guys are good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. Well, and I can't imagine it's still just a lot of transactions to keep track of. Yeah, and thousands. then if, yeah. are there certain things that you have to look at on the receipt that you have to take out? So you do have to look at those line item things, and that could, or is it just generally the total before tax? Yeah, it's usually always the subtotal, with the exception of um, Hyvee. Like you can't go to their customer service and get like money orders and right. um, uh, stamps, you oh. know, things that like they're not truly, you know, mm-hmm. okay. making. Money. They're just more of a service item. Sure, sure. Yeah. Same with like prescriptions, but like other than that, okay, sure. Pretty much usually, we don't everything. have to really exclude things okay. from most of our businesses. That so. would make sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. So they don't have to sign a contract or anything like that necessarily. So they basically just have to agree to our terms. Like we try to, you know, be very trans transparency is kind of our number one value with tag is, you know, we always want the businesses to know where their money's going. We always want the organizations to know where their money's coming from. We do give the organization side, the name and the email address of who's donating. Cause I've, we feel like if you're supporting that cause, you deserve to be thanked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't, we don't provide that information to the businesses. They do get the name, but they don't get any personal information, you know, or mm-hmm. we don't sell data that we've had a lot of comp- competition, um, that's come and gone where, you know, they're just selling your data and like, we're all, we're, we're not that, Good. um, you know, but we, but we want, you know, it's like, if you're supporting something, you deserve to be thanked. And right. yeah. so, nice. and, and I've Very never nice. had anybody complain about us doing that. So that's mm-hmm. good. Most yeah. of them are like, Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I got a thank you note from big brothers, big sisters or, mm-hmm. you know, wherever. So, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So, so what is a normal day look like for you? So are you also trying to maybe, um, grab some of those other businesses that you wouldn't even think of? I know we were talking about insurance earlier since that's kind of my industry. So yeah. maybe thinking about them because maybe they pay for, they take a client out for an expensive dinner or, they mm-hmm. order some kind of supplies or whatever. Are, are, do you do a lot of communications that kind of surround that to, to bring in some others? Or how does that work? We really focus, I think, most of our time on the businesses that we know would come on and do well on TAG. But I that see. said, we do have a lot of businesses that will come to us and say, you're kind of in a space that I want to be in. They're, they're community-minded. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're just coming to TAG because you want – you know, if you're a mortgage lender, let's say, and you're just trying to get people to choose you, yeah. it doesn't usually work that way. Yeah. But we do have, I mean, when the rates were down in 2021, we have um, Brent Rasmussen, and I'm mortgage specialist, mm-hmm. and he got a ton of people doing refinancing because it was just, it worked out well that time, you know, yeah. that time. And he's just the most amazing human being. He's a great guy with a really cool life story. And, um, so it's just, it, it works out that way. But for us, it's, we spend our time going after the businesses we know are going to do well by the masses. Mm-hmm. Um, is that fair? Yeah. What's a good business for tag is somewhere you frequent a little more often than, you know, yeah. an annual basis or something mm-hmm. like that. But yeah. 
doesn't mean they can't be a part of tag. We just don't want them to expect too much and then we under deliver. So right. it just depends on what their motivation is. Is it, they just truly want to give back or is it, we want, they want customers driven to them. We can't always guarantee that. So, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And it depends on the business. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really does. Mm-hmm. I also have had three roofs in eight years. So oh. I feel like uh. I have supported a lot of yeah. roofers. <laughs> yes. on yeah. tag. For sure. <laughs> But our typical day, I'd say right now, we're focusing mostly on user growth. Like we just want mm-hmm. more people more to users. know about it. Yes. And we have a d- decent business list. We want more businesses, but we want more people going to those businesses and then making an impact as a result. So yeah. they've seen our stuff. Like a lot of times they'll say, I've seen your sticker. I just don't know what, you, you know, stopping long enough to understand what mm-hmm. we do. Right. Or they think yeah. it costs them something or right. yes. they're going to be the one to donate, which I completely understand. Right. But, the, but then when they realize, oh, it cost me really nothing. We're like, yeah. And now you actually get, you know, bonus points and gift cards depending on how you're motivated. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. it's been it, it, a lot of it's just, you know, we haven't had huge marketing budget. So it's been Mm -hmm. a lot Mm -hmm. of, we've done so many grassroots things. Yeah. Well, and I hope you get to hear the stories of how that money affects, you know, all of the the nonprofits that you're helping. I hope you get to hear those Mm -hmm. stories. And hopefully for sure, when you do your 1 million mark, you'll get to hear, you know, even more stories. But thinking back to the list that you had um, 10 years ago, did you, did you get everything on your list? Now, when if you think about how you started it, like how does it compare now, or is the list longer? Or or is the list completely changed? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's a a great question. (laughs) Ten years out, I think in some ways we've gotten more features than I thought we would have. I mean, we really, I mean, things have changed so much. We actually, ironically, when we started right after the voucher, we moved to a QR code. And then we got rid of the QR code, and it was so funny. I remember um, a, a couple West Side moms called, and they were raising money for post prom or something. And all they would say now, every time you go to Smoothie King or Dunkin', because they're right on 90th and Center, you have to tag. And I remember them coming, calling us, and saying, "My kid will not ask the cashier for the QR code." Yeah, you used to have to ask for a QR code. Oh. It wasn't just like. Okay. Anyway, yeah, you couldn't just tag your purchase on your yeah. own. Yeah. Which is why we moved to uploading pictures of receipts because right. these, these moms were like, I'm missing out on hundreds of dollars for post prom because <laughs> my kid won't my kid ask won't for the QR it. code. Yeah. No. Yeah, so our QR code now is totally different because it's just getting you somewhere. It's yeah. not like the business has to hand it to you, you know. Okay, but also sure. everybody knows how to use a QR code now. Yes. Back then you had to. They were still the pretty new. Yeah. 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 It's just funny how technology has grown. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, um, now it's no big deal. I do, I do think like we've, te- technologically we've done more than I thought we would. Impact wise, I think we still want to make bigger impacts to yeah, we're always like, places. why isn't everybody doing, doing this? this? Like, you just think they should, and mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. we're biased, obviously. But sure. You know, like, I mean, gosh, it's a no-brainer. Well, it, it's 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 something. It's a habit. Yeah, it, it's a habit that, yeah. that you have to establish yeah. because I think mm-hmm. most people that would hear about it would want to do it because just like most people, yeah, mm-hmm. they want to give, they want to help, and if they could do it in a way like this, they'll absolutely do it. It's just. Got to remember to do it. Right. That's always my problem. It's right. Like, oh, I forgot to do it. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. No, and we, it's establishing I establishing mean, that habit, making that habit. Yeah. And that's why we're hoping the what's in it for me kind of gives them a little bit more. Yes. We now are trying to text. We're being very, you know, we don't want to be that annoying over run, you know, take advantage. We always, right. you know, being marketers, we're, it's a constantly balance of like, would I opt out of this or would I be like, this is exciting. Cause it's, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, there are things that come on. Like we just brought pasta more on, which is a great Italian place, you know? And so we're like super you guys excited. You should go on a date tonight. Yes. Yes. Pasta more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's, it's those kind of balancing acts that we're always trying to live. But, you know, we're trying to also, I think, we don't toot our own horn mm-hmm. and we're trying mm. really hard to start showing the success story so that say, other yeah. people can learn the success. Like, yeah. okay, this person, you know, and it, maybe it's only $5,000 they raised this year, but it's still $5,000 that nobody had to write a check for. And in a lot right. of cases, yeah. it's nobody would have written a check of that group. Mm-hmm. So, 
um, you or know, grants getting... and then not get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. right. Yeah. Well, and that's what I tell a lot of nonprofits is, you know, they might have outsourced a grant writer where they're paying them an yeah. hourly wage to maybe get something or not get something. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of ways to spend a lot of time and not get any money. Mm-hmm. And with tag, we're just, you know, we're trying very hard to be like, it's like, you're going to get your money, mm-hmm. you know, completely kids gets, um, uh, high B big high B grocery bills every month and they tag. And so they're getting, you know, 250 to $500 back just off the things they were going to do anyway, right. Cool. you know, just mm-hmm. making that. Yeah. So it's pretty exciting. So I think it's, we really want to, figure out the right flywheel for all the mm-hmm. organizations to kind of be able to copy. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't imagine the financial piece behind it. You know, all of the um, EFTs coming in and keeping and the receipts coming in mm. and then you've got tax time to think about yes. probably to issue your vouchers for, for your donations. So that's or, been the one thing that's actually been, we did not expect, but most of our businesses, I, and I can't speak for all, but most of them actually write tag off as a marketing expense oh. because it allows them to get full credit. Okay. Whereas okay. charitable donations can be, and it, please check with your consultant. I am not, or, you know, <laughs> I am not uh, an accounting person, right. but disclaimer. yeah, disclaimer. <laughs> um, but a lot of them will say, cause it's kind of like, from what I understand, it's kind of like your health care on your personal. Mm-hmm. You have to make so much money, but then it's only a certain percent that you can deduct for charitable donations. Yeah. Whereas because we're billing them, it really is a marketing expense. So it allows them mm. to sure. do that. So we, we're not having to send out Anytime. our own tax IDs oh, or our own you know tax deduction mm-hmm. forms at the end of every year, which is wonderful yeah. that would be yeah that's the one thing that's probably that's easy that's a lot of work you don't yeah. have to do yeah, yeah. Nice. but we do always let the businesses know i mean and that's something we could break down for them if they want but they've never sure. but asked they, for that and yeah. most uh, you know yeah. right mm-hmm. which we had no i mean we had no yeah. idea when we started and then we had, we had people yeah. coming back being like i don't do that we do it as a marketing expense i was like okay right. that works out great cool. yeah well so where are you guys from you're from omaha both I'm from or, I'm from Aurora, Nebraska, Aurora. right along the interstate, four okay. hours okay. west. Yep. Smaller town. Yep. How about you? Well, I moved here in fifth grade, so I feel like now I'm from here. But yeah. I was born in West Virginia, and my okay. dad worked for Mutual, and we kept Moving coming on. west to headquarters. So okay, so that's how we got up here. here. There we go. Back when everybody worked at Mutual. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But you don't mind it here so much anymore. Nope, we're here, we're here now. <laughs> I'm so the tired of these hot summers, though. Every time I'm like, why do no. I live here? <laughs> yeah. But well, you got nailed this summer. It, I just, I don't. Oh, gosh, yeah. I, I would hate it if you left because you've just started something so wonderful. Yes. I yeah. can't imagine Such leaving a... it. So. We, I mean, I'll, even if we left, I would never leave full time. Yeah. No. So, yeah. To start, just start another branch. Yeah, another branch. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just start it somewhere else. Yeah, my yeah. Fa- I mean, our family's here, and you know those mm-hmm. kind of things. My husband's family's here, and so we're so grateful have... that you're here Aww, and that you had so that. Nice. You got it. You have to frame that list of all the yeah. things that you you wanted, and then you yeah, know, pour a little bit of cherry vodka. Cherry, <laughs> cherry vodka. vodka. <laughs> What's funny is yeah, we don't even drink cherry vodka. I think we like we did that night. I feel like it's like you know college, whatever you in college you can't eat anymore. I think that's how we were with cherry vodka diet. We drank yes. so much because it was the cheap cherry vodka too. Like mm. it wasn't the good one. So is there really an expensive cherry no. vodka? <laughs> great point. Great point. Great point. <laughs> Call. Is there a high end cherry vodka? <laughs> if there is, if there's a somebody listening and they make a high end, we would be happy to sponsor they, that. They, they be, <laughs> Drinking that they for you. Be happy to. Have it. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and back then we couldn't even tag our cherry vodka. Right oh. now we can always tag so it. You tag it now. now you can tag the cherry vodka. <laughs> Try and get it from Hybe. You can tag it. Yeah. All right. Now, so thank you guys very much. Uh, of course, thank Holly, you for everything you Leslie, do, Leslie. Yes. Yeah. So Co-founders. Nice. Uh, the, the, the name of the website that you can use <laughs> is tag, that's T-A-G-G, mm-hmm. two G's, dot today. And if you're a business that would like to participate in the tag program, then the website you'll want to go to is together a greater good. You got it. Dot com. com. That is a dot com. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Absolutely. 
to participate yeah. either way. But uh, you also or to said, register as a nonprofit too. Or to register yep. as a nonprofit, but but also you said you could get your website through Tag Dot today, yep. which you should go to to check out all the businesses that you can use for Tag. Yeah, thank you so much for everything you do oh, for you. all of these wonderful nonprofits in the, the Omaha area and, and Eastern Nebraska. And you just really, I know it makes a difference. Even just a for little sure. bit makes so much of a difference, especially to some of the theaters that we've worked with and we've seen it. So yep. thank you guys thank you so you. much. Yeah, Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for having us. Absolutely. All right. Thank you for listening and supporting the arts in the Platte River area and beyond. Please subscribe to our podcast so you are sure to catch all of our future episodes and join us on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Music for this podcast was used with permission by Screaming Skull Productions. See you next time on the Platte River Bard. <laughs>